Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. Today we're going to carry on looking at Psalms together. We're in Psalm chapter 5. We're going to see how to start the day well. Psalm 5 verse 3 says, In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you. I wait expectantly. One Sunday morning in the Midwest city lives a boy who was acting up during the morning service. His parents did their best to maintain some sense of order in the pool, but eventually they just lost the battle. Finally, the father picked up the little boy and walked out sternly up the aisle on his way out. Just before reaching the safety of the foyer, the little boy in his father's arms cried out loudly to the congregation, Please pray for me, pray for me. Do you believe in prayer? Or do you pray only in times of emergency? How did you start your day this morning? Did you start it by taking out your phone and checking it for messages, for text messages, for any updates on social media? Did you start by listening to the news headlines or maybe heading to the kitchen for a strong black cup of coffee? Well, the psalmist said, Early in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and I wait in expectation. John Bunyan, he's famous for writing The Pilgrim's Progress, and he wrote, He who runs from God in the morning will scarcely find him for the rest of the day. He also wrote, You can do more than pray. But after you prayed, but you cannot do more than pray until you prayed. Prayer enhances us and empowers us to live for Jesus. C.S. Lewis is an equally famous writer. He wrote the Chronicles of Narnia as well as many other great Christian books. He said this, The moment you wake up each morning, all the wishes, hopes for that day rush at you like wild animals. And the first job each morning consists of shoving it all back and listening to the other voice, taking the other point of view, letting that other larger, stronger, quieter life come flowing in. That other larger, stronger, quieter life should be the Lord speaking to us as we seek Him each day. If you're reading this devotional, well, then the chance is you're serious about your relationship with Jesus. And there's no better way of deepening this relationship and spending time in fellowship with him through prayer. As you wake up tomorrow, I'm sure like me, you will have a thousand things in your to-do list to do. Lots of things trying to fight for your attention. But I'll ask you, take a few moments to thank God for the day and commit it to him and all you do for him. The only way the only good way to start a day in relationship and conversation with our Heavenly Father is through prayer. Let's pray then together. Oh, Father, we thank you that as we cry out to you, you hear our prayers and you answer us. Father, we thank you that we can wait in expectancy as we pray and commit our ways to you. Lord, so often as we wake up, we're distracted by all the things we have to do, all the requests from us. Lord, help us to come to you Help us to submit our lives daily to you. Father, I thank you that you're always available to us, that you're always longing to have a deeper relationship with us. So help us to be more serious about our relationship with you. Help us to seek you daily, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.